Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I did a recent community poll to ask what's most important to those of you who watch my channel uh, when it comes to rifles and ammunition. Is it uh, the, the cartridge, the caliber? Is it accuracy? Is it precision? Or is it the confidence that you get in being able to make the shot? I was surprised to find out and really glad to hear that most people said it's the confidence factor that they look for. So come back in a second folks and we'll talk about it and you'll find out why I have my ropes as a prop. community poll people had determined that uh, they needed to have the confidence uh, in to be able to take the shot or not take the shot or to be able to know that they were going to be able to take that game with a well-placed shot. They did that through practice. I wouldn't give you two cents for an, uh, anybody that is a natural. Oh, we've always admired them, but as an ex-coach and athlete, I always admired the kid or the man that worked the hardest to become better because there's never the best. It's always working harder to get better. And then having the proper tools for the job. The that I have here are as different as the caliber and cartridge that you might be using for shooting. Uh, the rope over here, this is for team roping. This is about a 40 foot rope. It's made out of heavy duty and stiff nylon. It is designed to get on that steer quick to be able to turn it for your teammate so that he can heal it and you can win some money. This rope over here is designed for horses. It is a 60 foot long poly rope and it is a softer rope and it has a loose hondo to be able to take it off the horse without, without choking him down. So these two ropes are well used because I practice a lot. Did I win anything? No. But did I get the job accomplished that I needed to get accomplished in the shortest time fashion? Yes. So that brings us to the rifle. Okay, today I'm going to be shooting three different uh, loads in the same 6.5 Grendel to find out what is the best performance on target that I can have. So let's get to the shooting and talk about it. So the bullets I'm testing today are the 90 grain spear. The powders that I'm testing are Benchmark Powder and Power Pro Varmint. Now I've already worked up loads on these. I'm just re classifying on my chronograph here because it is warmer weather than when I tested these two uh, powders in the past. Benchmark is supposed to be a temperature insensitive powder so we're checking that. Power Pro Varmint is a ball powder and you get very very fast uh, you know, feet per second out of it. The third bullet that I'll be uh, testing is the 90 grain ELDX by Hornady. But now you're going to see the results. So you know the drill. Target is set up at 100 yards. I am fighting uh, some wind gust, as you can see, uh, up to 25 miles per hour, down to five. So there will be varying uh, uh, results that I expect. But let's go ahead and, and shoot the first three, which is the 90 grain spear TNT bullet with benchmark powder. Alright, here we go. Be the target on the left, lower left. It's a pretty good little group. Average, 29.87. Standard deviation, 17. Extreme spread, 32. Okay, so that shot placement went low left. I'll write that down on the piece of paper without making the adjustment. Low left. Okay, all right, so let me go reset everything. You know the drill. I can't show some stuff on uh, YouTube, 
Now let's get back to my second round. Okay, so here we go for the second round. I'm shooting the same bullet but with a different powder, Power Pro Varmint. Uh, this is intended to get a little bit more speed. But I was surprised at that benchmark powder on the previous three. I did hit 3,000 with one shot and the average was 29.87. Uh, so that makes it real good as a long distance Varmint round because that's what in, it's intended for. It is a frangible bullet. So back to my roping analogy, these two bullets would uh, be the example of the steer uh, roping rope. Okay, so let's go with these three shots. I'm fighting the wind here a little bit. Uh, I hope everything will be all right. Be the target just above the last one I shot, upper left. Three shots. Okay, that group opened up a little bit, but let's check out that speed. An average, 29.98. Okay, so it'll be the uh, target just to the right of the last one I shot. Here we go. This wind is driving me nuts. I hope you can hear me okay. I won't know until I get to the computer. All right. All right. That looks like a pretty good little group there. The average was 28.55, so I'm just short of where I wanted to be, around 2,900. Standard deviation, 18. Extreme spread, 36. So, let's go analyze that target, figure things out, and let's sum this up. Hang on. Okay, folks, I had to get on the other side of my truck to try to get out of the wind. But there again, I want to show you this target. Nothing beats practice. Even though I've already worked up these loads, I had to re-verify them. So on the left here would be the example of the steer rope. On the right over here would be the example of my horse rope or buckaroo rope. So let's go over the target. Okay, to the left here is the 90 grain spear TNT. The first one here was with benchmark. Average was 29.87 and a pretty nice little half inch group. Okay, then the next one was Power Pro Varmint. This was a surprise to me because I expected this to be a lot higher in terms of velocity. But the average was 29.98 and that opened up to about a three quarter inch group there. 28.53 with CFE 223. Now, the reason for 28.53 as opposed to 2900 is because that was happened to be the accuracy for that powder. All right, and you can see that's about a half inch group. So I hope you got something out of this, folks. Go practice, go shoot, have fun. No matter what, know your ammunition, be able to gain the confidence that you need to take the shot always. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. But no matter what, God bless you all. See you next time. Goodbye.